open till it shatters through the ocean. I wanna make shock waves. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, and other farm animals, this is Arinia. Welcome to episode 16 of Factorio Adventures. Now, we've got our basics up and running for iron, copper. We, I mean, we can make the basic ores out of the same blast furnace and stuff. But what we need to do is we need to figure out how to make the specialized ores. Because we're going to start, or the specialized ingots, excuse me. Because we are going to start needing bronze and solder before long. Uh... So I'm going to go ahead and show off how we are going to do this. Now the first thing I need is a couple more blast furnaces. Specifically two more. Because we are going to be making two separate smelting systems. The first one is going to be for solder and it's equal parts lead and tin. There is that. Of course, I'm going to have to make inserters for all of these. I've actually noticed that I grabbed too much copper for the later part. Now we've got to do a very quick breakdown of the copper. And you get just the part that we need. We need 1800. The other 200 is going to go back for later use. But for now, we are focusing on bronze. Or, excuse me, solder. So there's tin in the left box, lead in the right. Now, lead requires oxygen. It's going to require us to output um, sulfur dioxide. Now, sulfur dioxide is useful later on because it gives us sulfuric acid. Um, and that will be important for some refining process, but we can't actually use it yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and build two of these petrochem tanks. Start building up a supply of the sulfur dioxide. Notice I'm running low on stone bricks while I'm at it. I'm going to go ahead and hook those up. And just in case we get overflow, of course we go ahead and throw out an overflow valve and a gas vent. That way the extra gas will be vented away. There we go. Now these feed the induction furnace, which creates molten solder. And then from there they go into the casting machine to make solder for us. And each of these is going to need 1,000 fuel. I think for water we have to resort to electrolysis, which is of course going to give us slag. Now, slag we can just feed into the ore sorting system. That's not a problem. I will build out an electrolyzer. Build out a... Well, I don't actually have enough basic electronic boards for that. So, what we'll do, actually, is tap into one of these purified water lines. Or no, we'll have to tap into the original water line. Unless I have a spare one. I do, yeah, we can tap in up here. I just need to very quickly switch the pipe over. There we go. Now the electro... That's the blast furnace. We need the electrolyzer. Actually, I'm going to hook that up the other way. Okay, that will... Yeah, it makes fluid, so it's the other one. We are going to do is we're going to run this underground pipe basically as far as it can go, which is right there. I'm going to use the materials I have as much as possible. Oops. Back one, because we have to put in a connecting pipe. And the same over here, which actually uses up my last of those pipes. Fortunately, I can build a bunch more, so we'll get those built in the background. Now that doesn't have power yet, which is fine. Um, we're going to go ahead and hook up an inserter. Right. And get out of the way still. Just run a basic belt up there to 
take delivery of the slag. Now down here, because we're going to be producing a lot of solder, probably very quickly, um, we're going to set up a, an iron chest. I don't have enough steel to justify steel chests yet. Okay, now we can get these to work. First things first, run out a, whoops, run out of power poles. <laughs> gas vent to vent the excess hydrogen. Although I could probably set up a piping system. Do a similar thing with uh, what I'm doing over here. Uh, in this case, hydrogen isn't useful for building one petrochem tank. Overflow and a gas vent. All right. So our solder system is working, and that will be an important component of the electronic boards, which is what all of this is building up to. But first, I wanted to go ahead and set up bronze. Because bronze is just that awesome. Now I have the 1800 copper, but in order to make bronze, I also need 600 tin. Now it comes in stacks of 2000. This is this could be a problem, except for the fact that I am very good at dividing stacks. Okay, there's 600 right there. Now we'll take the other 1400. Go ahead and store it back in the box. We can pick that up because we don't need it anymore. Now I want to try and use this iron chest for both solder and molds. In fact, because of that, we're going to go ahead and replace it with that steel chest that I was using for other purposes. So in that case, the casting machine is going to go right here. We'll be making bronze plate. The induction furnace goes there two blast furnaces on either side. This one for copper. Whoops, there's an autosave. They kicked me out too early. This one for tin. Go ahead and fuel them up. And now we need the inserters. There's the eight inserters that we're going to need. For this part of the process, we're going to need two more. Watch those fly by being made at eight times regular speed. One turning left, one turning right. That one needs power, but that also helps us get more power down here after I can run out of power poles. I think our next episode is definitely going to be the greenhouse, as we need to start regular wood production. Okay, now we're ready! We just drop in the 1800 copper. That making the bronze, please. 600 tin. Just like that, we have bronze plates. Yay! Now, let's actually go ahead and get on the greenhouses. If I can remember which greenhouse I need, I need glass. Is the big thing right there. To I think I could just turn sand directly into glass. We can this, but. 
to make a ton of sand here. Um, I think 140 would be enough for the moment. Plop down an electric furnace. And does it get to work? Yes, it does. It gets to work, making us glass. Now, for the greenhouse, we need five, and we also need basic electronic boards. Well, the only other thing we really need for the basic electronic board is basic electronic components, and I'll show you how we make those. We make those with tin copper wire, which I already have a supply of, and carbon. How do we make carbon, though, Ernia? Well, the first thing you're going to need is an ore crusher, then another furnace, and then this machine, the liquefier. So the first thing to start with, the ore crusher. And we'll start over here. Feeds into an electric furnace. Feeds into the liquefier. For making carbon, we require steam. Well, there's an easy way to make steam. We've got this purified water supply right here that I think we can tap into with an electric boiler. Um, wherever it just went in my inventory, please. Oh, there it is. Let's go ahead and rotate that around. All right, pipe. Album pipe. I don't even know what that material actually is. Oh, it won't actually let me boil purified water. That's interesting. I think boiling purified water would give you better steam without impurities. But maybe I'm just smoking something I shouldn't be. <laughs> All right. Inserters busily being made here. other way, get the other set, chest at the beginning, chest at the end, back in the inventory please, actually that chest at the beginning we're going to go ahead and put here, so I can do my usual arrangement of two inserters, I don't know that it's particularly necessary, but okay, this will be crushing coal, that will of course smelt the crushed coal into coke. Then that turns it into carbon, which is what we need for the basic electronic boards. Now all of this needs power, of course. So, what am I all too happy to provide? Electric power. I can put the power poles away, please. Come up to my supply of tons and tons of coal. I'll go ahead and grab 6,000 because I think that will make plenty of carbon for the well, And that puts the whole process in motion. But tomorrow, or rather in the next... Tomorrow? What am I talking about? In the next episode, you will be able to see the process behind the basic electronic boards. It's really cool, actually. We can do it with just one machine now that we've got everything else set up. In the meantime, though, thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for the outro. Hey everyone, Arinia here. Thanks so much for watching this latest video out of my channel, and thanks so much to these patrons who, among others, are helping make this content possible by donating at least $10 on my Patreon page. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave a comment. Tell us what we need to do better. If you liked it, still leave a comment. I'm always open to input. If you like the channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and join us on the Discord community, link in the description. If you want to support the channel, and I really hope you do, please, down in the description is a link to the Buy Me A Coffee page, which you can donate to for a one-time donation, or the Patreon page, which you can head on to to donate monthly and get perks. In the meantime, this is Irinia saying once again, thanks for watching, take care.